guys, it's Missy, and today we're gonna be doing a ginormous haul. I'm not kidding or over exaggerating. I bought so much stuff in the past like month and a half. It's freaking crazy. I actually didn't spend a lot of money on all this stuff. I either got them on sale, I had a discount code, something like that. So I got all this stuff for pretty cheap. And I have a lot of stuff to show you, and I don't want it to take three years. So let's go ahead and get into this video. So the first thing I got was a new car. How many haul videos have you watched where somebody bought a car? It's actually not brand new completely. It's a used car, but it only had one owner. It had low miles. It was in really awesome condition. Here it is. It's a silver Hyundai Elantra, and I freaking love it. My entire car is Hello Kitty on the inside, so I got a license plate cover to match, but I actually got this on sale for five bucks, and it was originally like 20 bucks, so I got a good deal. Next, I got a package from Sally Beauty. I ordered stuff offline because I had a couple different discount codes. They were having an online sale, and they didn't have the color that I needed in store. First, I got a couple bleach packets because I'm going to be redoing my hair the beginning to middle of May and I needed more bleach. And then I got two bottles of Manic Panic. You don't get to see the color until I redo it so you guys can try to guess and see if you're right. And then inside this tiny little box is some nail polish. So I got these three colors. They're having a buy two get one free sale and they're really freaking bright. Like I have the orange on my toes right now and I could freaking blind somebody with them. I needed a new backpack just like a bigger one. So I went into Kohl's to find one and I found this adorable little minty backpack. It's mud brand and it was originally $70. Bitch, I paid $6 for it. It was like 90% off. It was freaking ridiculous. Then I went to Barnes and Noble and bought a couple things. First, I got a panty and stocking with garter belt manga. This is my favorite anime ever. It's so vulgar and adorable and just weird and they made a manga of it. Kind of squealed when I seen this and I bought it in a hurry and it's a pop vinyl of Eleven with some egos. Freaking love Stranger Things and Eleven's the cutest so I got this. Then I was scrolling the interwebs and came across this one brand. I completely forget what it is. If I remember, I'll put it like over here somewhere. But I got this shirt. It's really freaking awesome. I don't know why I freaking liked this. I just did and that like crazy like demonic looking dude on the front. I just remembered what it's called. It's Serpents and Saints. They have like a lot of like occult type things and their shirts are like they're perfect. Then I went to Target and bought a scale so now I can become a professional drug dealer. Just kidding, I, I don't sell or do drugs. That was a joke. I bought this actually because I have a Depop shop. This is my name on there. And I mail a lot of packages and I just need this so I can print the postage at home and stuff. Then I went to Hobby Lobby and I got some ink, which is by PH Martin. But I've been wanting to do tattoo flash paintings and I've never used actual ink for that. I got some watercolor paper and some paintbrushes and shit, but no one gives a shit about those. Then about a month ago, I think, I don't remember, I went on Too Faced and they were having a pretty decent sale and I bought the chocolate bar palette and some little eye eyeliner. So this is just a chocolate bar palette. It's a newer version so it's not as thick and oh my Jesus does this smell amazing. It smells just like a freaking Hershey bar. It's so good. This is just a bulletproof eyeliner. This was on sale. I think it was like six dollars. I don't remember but it's just white. It's like a big thick crayon eyeliner. Haven't used it yet but it's waiting for me. Then because I didn't think I had enough makeup already I went over to Ulta and bought some things probably like two weeks ago. So first I got a couple of Tony Moly things. These are both lotions. They work amazingly. They make my hand tattoos super bright. This smells exactly like grape juice and this smells exactly like bananas. I kind of bought these for the packaging, kind of bought them for the lotion, mostly for the packaging. Then I bought the peanut butter and jelly palette by Too Faced. It doesn't really smell like peanut butter. It just smells like a weird chocolate. There's that. And they were having a sale. If you bought $35 in Too Faced stuff, you got a free gift. And this was the free gift, this freaking adorable little pouch. I don't know what I'm ever gonna use this for, but I had to have it anyway and it was free, so who cares? And then they gave me a little honey lip gloss stuff. It's supposed to smell like honey. I think it smells like, I don't even know what, BO covered by perfume, to be completely honest. It's just a really pretty glossy, plain shade. I don't know, but yeah. And then like a week ago, I decided I did not have enough fucking Too Faced shit. So I went out and bought some more. First, I got a full size of Better Than Sex mascara. Whoever named it this though must have had a really sucky sex life because it's not that great, but it works. Then I got this little eyeliner. It's called Perfect Eyes and I just really liked it because it's waterproof. I don't have any waterproof eyeliner. And then I just got this little lipstick. It's called Sugar Daddy. It smells like fucking fish, but it's a really pretty color. And then of course, you know, I needed the Bon Bon palette because the regular chocolate palette's just not a fucking enough. This one smells just like the chocolate palette, just not as strong 
long. The colors are really pretty. They're really pinky and nude. And I just love how the little pans are heart shaped. I think that's adorable. So that's all the Too Faced shit that I bought. Let's move on to something else. I bought a whole bunch of CDs because my car has a really nice stereo in it and I wanted new CDs to listen to. All of the CDs are in my car, so I'm just gonna be showing you like the casing. First is The Pale Emperor by Marilyn Manson. I got this off Depop for $10, I do believe. The outside of it's like a weird sandpapery texture. It's really weird. The next three CDs I got at the Goodwill in my town. First is Headspace. It's just got the peacock and the inside is blank. The CDs in my car, like I already said. And it came with the poster. I don't even think the poster was taken out before I got it. it just says Headspace and then this, this poster. Then I got two Bring Me the Horizon CDs. I cried when I found these. Literally stood in the middle of the fucking Goodwill crying because I found these CDs. First is Suicide Season. My all-time favorite album from them. This album like hit home with me. I don't know. Let's see inside. And then I also got Count Your Blessings, which is again, one of my all time favorite Bring Me The Horizon albums. Oh my God, hold on. You have to see how freaking young Ollie looks in this freaking book. Look at his fetus face. I found all the next things on different occasions at the Goodwill and at this other local thrift store. I think I hit the mother load when I found all this stuff. This is all manga and one's a book, but it's all manga. Look at all this crap. A lot at the thrift store. First is Bioshock. This is a book written by John Shirley. It just like a book about what takes place in the first and second Bioshocks. Found the first edition of um, Assassination Classroom. Then I found four One Pieces. I love One Piece. The manga is amazing. Then I found a couple random Naruto. One is number 10 and one is number 22. I have the first Naruto. So then I found four random Dragon Ball. So I bought this a couple weeks ago. It's a tattooed employed hoodie. It's from Steadfast. This is actually their old design. It says it on the back. This is like a $70 hoodie and I paid $25 for it on Depop. Then I got this Paramore band tee. I actually found this yesterday for $3 at the Goodwill. It's so freaking soft and comfy. I got this. It says have a nice day with a smiley face. It made me think of drop dead clothing. That's why I got it. I paid 25 cents for this. Then I got this at the Goodwill like last week for $3. It's a really old kind of rare I wrestled a bear once tee. The next thing I got off Depop for $15. These shirts sell for $35 plus online. It looks like this. And then this is the back. Getting some major 90s Nickelodeon vibes off this. But it's a brand Bored Teenager, which if you guys watch Workaholics, Blake from that has his own clothesline, and this is that. Then the last thing that I have to show you is the holy grail of finds, for me anyway. It is a vintage 80s guest jacket. Here's a little tag. It's an authentic guest jacket. The little buttons have like a little triangle with a question mark in it. I paid 25 fucking sense for this and like whoever had it before me sewed this little rose patch on it and it says life and I thought that was really cute. Holy crap, we finally made it through this video. That was everything I had to show you guys. I really hope you enjoyed. A lot of you seem to enjoy when I make haul videos, especially if they're giant ones like this. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Have a super duper fantastic awesome day. Bye! Mwah.